Okay, great. Here is the Apex 300. It's a very, very popular unit because of how long and how much room you get. And it's still half ton towable. So we'll do a little outside light video first. So we got the power front jack and the nice, beautiful front window. Look how massive this awning is too. Coming through, we got our pass-through storage. And you can see, see it's all aluminum frame. Perfect. Coming around here. There's our entry door with the nice solid steps. We'll come to there in a second. Now every single dual axle apex is means it has an enclosed underbelly. It's also heated as well, which is nice. As you can see, you got a nice LED light underneath here. It is quite bright out, so it's not very bright here now. You've got a nice beautiful outdoor kitchen. This kind of acts as your awning over top of your kitchen. Nice grill here and here. Nice giant big beer fridge. Can fit a couple few packs in there, which is nice. Perfect. Nice little beer opener here as well. This was supposed to be out a little further, so the fridge can open up nice and easy. Hot and cold water here coming around. We can have a rear view camera. And of course, all the windows are frameless windows. I call them more of the awning style windows. So they come out on a 45 de degree angle so that way uh, rain, snow, or anything is not going to get in the trailer versus, say, these windows, they slide open and rain will just get right in there. So you can keep your window open. Another thing about the Apex is I'll talk about the wall construction when, once we go inside. But this wall, as you can see, goes down, down, down and goes past the floor. So whenever you get water inside the, the wall... It's not going to absorb it because of the construction. We're, we're going to talk about that soon. It goes past and has an exit point, which is really neat, instead of going into the floor. So we're going to come over here into the trailer itself. Up on up. And here is the inside. It's really beautiful. Nice big queen bed. And just honestly, the storage is everywhere. And they're nice and deep storage, right? Like huge amount of storage for a travel trailer. There is also storage underneath the bed. And on each side you have plugins. So you have your GFI plugs here and your USB as well. Nice little spot for books and phones or iPads maybe. This TV here, once the doors close, you can swivel this into the bedroom. And then never tell the kids that you have a TV in the bedroom. Another thing, you have a couch and your dinette. This is nice. So you this turns into a bed. And it's recliners. So you can see here, you pull this and your recliner comes up. Really, really nice. This is where I want to talk about the Asdale walls. Why this unit is better than most or any. So this is the big brochure. I took out my two jars and um, what the wall is. And then a little nice little sample as well. So what we'll read here, and it says here as well, is that we're 50% lighter than wood. On this Asdale, it replaces the linear wood with the composite wall. So now we're avoiding delamination, water damage, rot, mildew, warping, all that ugly stuff. We're also unaffected by changes in temperature and humidity, which is insane. Especially we're in Alberta where we get, you know, snow that was two days ago and now we're sunshine and rainbows. We're twice the thermal insulation of plywood. We're free of formidable toxic odors and chemicals. We have a longer RV life because now we're not absorbing the water. And you'll see in these two jars soon what that really means. We're quieter because the insulation is a little thicker and it's a little better here. And we're not affecting the forestation here either. So I'll talk about these two jars. Now, I used to be a mechanic and I love seeing visual things instead of being told things. So this is your common trailer. So if you have water coming into the side of the trailer, this is what happens. You get you know, soft, the wood goes soft, deteriorates. As you can see, you can see wood pieces floating around. It's not very good. And then over time, it gains weight because it's absorbing the wood. We replace this jar every 15, or sorry, every 30 days. We're on day 22. I think it's the 22nd today. And it goes to show on how much damage it really does. Now, this has been in there for three years. And now you can see the physical difference of it just being unaffected. It's absolutely amazing. So we'll come back up here. 
and then look in the kitchen tons and tons and tons of space so now you can see it's a very very well worth the trailer because of the material tons of store in the kitchen and just absolutely super deep counter space that's a longer than my arm length nice big deep sink in here and then we'll have our bathroom in here as well coming up we're gonna pass this big giant fridge into the bunk room itself so this is where the kids would sleep so they have a nice little sofa or double bed single bunk and another single bunk you can put a tv here also nice little step up we have heat ducts in here as well as long as ac ducts up top if you did want we'll talk about storage here shortly wi-fi in the trailer you can have wi-fi in the trailer tons of storage for the kids clothes socks underwear like this is absolutely awesome super amount of storage now this acts as the couch and bed so what this happens is this goes up locks into place and gives you the couch so you can have more space to sit but yeah any questions please let me know and we'll go from there thank you guys